Enough is enough. Enough is enough, ladies and gentlemen. We have to stop Manchester City. They have won the FA Cup, the Premier League, the Champions League, the Club World Cup, the Super Cup. They've won five trophies in 2023. And in 2024, they could potentially replicate that still. They're still in the FA Cup. They're still in the uh, in the title race, and they're still in the Champions League group stages, and uh, they they were top of their group in the group stages, and they could potentially win a treble again. I need to ask you guys a serious question: Would you rather Manchester City continue to win and trophies, or would you want somebody to stop them? Let me know what you guys think, and especially if it's not your own club. Because there's going to be Arsenal fans here, Liverpool fans here. Take your club out of it. Don't you just think that for the good of the Premier League, somebody else breaking that monopoly that Man City have over the Premier League would be a good thing? The monopoly that they have over winning domestic trophies consistently, wouldn't that be a good thing? Let me know what you guys think. Conjure that thought as, as I play the intro. We have to stop saying that we don't care if Man City win trophies simply because they do stuff like this consecutively. Kyle Walker, since joining Manchester City, has picked up 17 trophies. Just to give you guys an, an example of what they've been able to do in such a short time period. We all probably remember when he joined Manchester City. Erling Haaland joined Man City last year. He picked up five. Like... Let's be realistic here with how big they are picking up trophies on a consecutive basis. They are turning the Premier League into a Farmers League. They are the best team in the world. And what they've been doing in the last 10 years is building their legacy to a level where they have surpassed the likes of Everton, Aston Villa, and now even Chelsea. Their Arsenal's next on the chopping block. They could potentially get... 13 league titles in the next four or five years if they uh five years if they just continue to push on at this level and it is starting to get really scary that nobody cares they say they don't care you should care chelsea fans they should be rooting for liverpool or arsenal to win the league over man city tottenham fans obviously will never root for arsenal but they should at least want liverpool to win the league over man city Manchester United fans should actually want Arsenal to win the league ahead of Man City and Liverpool. But guess what? People say they don't care. They try to uh, belittle Man City by saying they don't care, but Man City fans don't care. Man City as a club, as an institution, don't care. They're just going to collect trophies and flex on everybody consecutively every single year. They don't care. This year, the Premier League is a lot closer. And a lot more talented teams are around, like the Aston Villas, like the Newcastles. But we still have the juggernaut in Manchester City who can just churn out wins and go on to win the Premier League again. I believe that Arsenal and, Man City and Liverpool are the two teams that could potentially stop them in the Premier League. And in Europe, it's going to have to probably be Real Madrid. That's the only team that could probably stop them. But last year, they turned over Real Madrid quite easily. We have a big issue. We have a big issue. And the reality is Manchester City are so good and Pep Guardiola has made them so good that I don't see them stopping. I could see them, even if they don't win the Premier League this year, I could see them doing a treble again in a, a, this year or next year. This year is actually probably their worst year, their worst start to a Pep Guardiola season, and they still have a potential to do a treble again. It is worrying. It is worrying. It is scary what they're capable of, this Manchester City uh, team. And what Sheikh Mansour and the, and the owners of Manchester City have been able to build in such a small time is supersedes any, any era of success that we've seen in the modern era. Chelsea's probably the, uh, under Roman is the closest thing. But what Chelsea under Roman have done 
they, I feel like City are going to overtake that, or if they haven't already. Guys, we're in we're in uncharted waters. We have not seen a team that won a treble go on to win another one. We've not seen a team do a four-peat. These are things that have not been done before that they could accomplish this season. We need to band together and stop Manchester City. The only way it's going to be stopped is that people start taking them serious as a threat. They win the league and people say, oh, we don't care. We hear more about 7-2s. We hear more about Garnacho's the sellout goal than we do Man City's uh, thing. That's how they like it. That's how they like it. They like just winning and keeping it moving. They, they're not here to show both. They're not here to push it in your face. Even though you don't like Arsenal fans or you don't like Arsenal. For the good of the Premier League, you should want Arsenal to win over Manchester City. For the good of the Premier League, you should want Liverpool to win over Manchester City. For the good of, the, of Europe, you should want somebody else to win besides Man City. Or else they're going to turn the Champions League into a joke also. The FA Cup and the League Cup have already been belittled. By, by, by domestic by domestic fans. They stopped caring about them. It is a concern to me and the greater public. They're in the Premier League. The only team that actually takes points off them on a consecutive basis is Tottenham, surprisingly, the team that doesn't win trophies. But you want to know something? If it was, if, uh, as an Arsenal fan, I probably would want Man City to win it over Tottenham. But in the same breath, would I want would I want um, someone else to, be, uh, to, to beat Man City? 100%. I'm not just going to say, oh, Man City can win it again. I I wanted Liverpool to beat Man City to some of those Premier Leagues because I'm sick and tired of this domination by Manchester City. They've turned the Premier League into a joke. We need to start taking it more serious. And my question to everybody today, my question to every single one of you guys today is if you had a choice between Man City doing the treble again or one of your rivals or just another team winning the Premier League this season, which one would you rather have? Which one would you rather have? Would you rather have another team pick up the trophy this season or just let Man City win it again? Because it, uh, because it's not going to hurt you. You're not going to see too many fans going around. So once again, would you rather Man City win again or another team that is not the club that you support win the Premier League? Let me know. I'm gonna put a poll. Uh, I'm gonna put a poll out. I'm gonna uh, message this uh, under the video. Comment down below. I'm gonna try to get re response to all your comments. And hopefully, every single one of you guys have hap uh, wish you guys a happy New Year. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this uh, this festive period. And I'm gonna do more of these short videos going forward. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Comment. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, do all of that, and and make sure you leave a comment down below so I can respond to how you feel about this video. Anyways, I'm out of here. We have to stop Man City. And as a Premier League, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, whatever your club, Aston Villa, Wolves, we should all band together and stop this superpower because they're starting to be the evil villains in the Premier League. And we need a hero.